All right, back in the kitchen now with Casey Kims from Cheesecake Heaven. Wonderful sandwiches, wonderful desserts, um, and also homemade soups, several different soups every single day. So um, we're going to make one of the favorites, I guess, right? Yes, this is the ladies go crazy for the, the curried butternut squash soup. Yum. They yum, love it. Yum, yum. I've made so. butternut squash soup at home, and sometimes it's just kind of, eh, you know, um, and that's why I'm excited about this recipe because it's got a few different ingredients that you probably wouldn't expect to put in this soup. So it's Correct. kind of fun. Um, first, start with the butternut squash. Tell us how you got that ready. Um, well, what we do is we take whole squash, make sure the outside is scrubbed down um, so you don't have any dirt or okay. anything. And what you're going to do is cut the top part off and then cut the squash in equal halves and a little bit of olive oil, put it cut side down and put it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Um, just check the large part of the squash this part and make sure it's soft. Okay, so and that's going to give it so much more flavor than boiling it. So, exactly. Yeah, yeah, really good tip. And then you scoop out the the squash part of it, right? Correct. Just um, all of the skin exterior layer. You want to get that off because okay. it's very bitter. Okay. So take, and then go ahead. Oh, just take the flesh out. Um, put it in a food processor and take a little bit of uh, vegetable stock. Oh, okay. And use that to puree it. Okay. So, just a little touch of it? Yeah, just okay. a little. Um, I think the, re the, the recipe I posted says two cups okay. per recipe. Okay. So that will make it easier to um, mix your other ingredients in. So here's the pureed yes. butternut squash already. We've roasted it, taken it out, uh, the flesh out, put a little bit of ve uh, vegetable stock in there and pureed it. And now we're going to get it into a soup pan. So that's the hardest part of the recipe is just dealing with the squash. Right. But it's worth it. Yeah, and um, that roasting with that deep caramelization, mm. that's going to give you a lot of flavor. I agree. Okay, now what's next? Um, next we're going to add our heavy cream. Mm. This isn't half and half, this is heavy cream. This is the real deal. Yes, um, if you wanna use a whisk. You bet, there. you bet. Um, the heavy cream gives it sweetness and a little bit of sugar, so that's Makes it really rich and wonderful. Yes, yes, and if you wanted to make it healthier, you could use um, fat-free, half and half, or something like that if you wanted to. Some okay. people just like the real deal. Sure. Um, so we're going to let this come to temperature. Okay. It'll be a little, yeah, it should start boiling shortly. Okay. Um, we're going to season it with a tablespoon of kosher salt. Okay. And then I like a pinch of cinnamon in mine. I think that's kind of nice. It goes, yeah. you know, cinnamon and squash goes great. And then these are options. These are what we put in at the store. Um, these things, these things that you can get the fresh herbs and uh, the bottles. I'm sure you're familiar with them. They're great. They're like yeah. a tube of toothpaste. Um, and anytime you need a little bit of flavor, instead of having to deal with, you know, the fresh herbs, which can be a hassle and they don't right. last a long time. Uh, so lemongrass, it's already you just squeeze it out, right? To mm -hmm. put that flavor in. Yes. That's wonderful. It is wonderful. And then we have ginger. And ginger. So mm. gotta love that. So you do a little bit of each of these? Yes. I would say um, probably like a half teaspoon. Okay. Of each. So tell me about one. And look at how easy it is. Yes. And then just go right back in the refrigerator for the next time. Right. That's good. So they're pretty strong. Yes. Okay. And then would you like to do the ginger? I would love to. Okay. Oh, a lot of last one. But I love Sorry. the idea of um, adding. It really does make, uh, uh, you know, gives it some different flavors. and. Yeah. And that's what soup, what makes great soup yeah. is just building the flavors. Exactly. And this is such an easy soup to make. People are surprised all the time. Um, Whenever I'm at the at Cheesecake Heaven, uh, customers in line are asking me during the lunch rush how to make this soup, and right. I'm like, oh my god, it's so easy, well, just roast. Now it'll roast be on our website, you can get the, the recipe right there. Okay, yes. so what's next? Okay, so now we have, do you see how it's thickening up right. a little bit? Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to whisk, and I'm going to pour some milk. Okay, you bet. So just to thin it up a little bit is just, what we're doing. Yes, okay. a little bit. And again, using skim milk because it has, um, it's sweeter. Okay. So you want that sweetness. And it's really, um, you can add as much or as little 
skim milk that you want. Okay. Because it's, it's such a huge variable with the squash sure. roasting, how much water content exactly. is in it. Exactly. So. so just kind of eyeball it. And I think when it comes to making soups, you really got to do that. You got to taste, got to look. It's, don't just follow a recipe blindly. You right. Know, everything turns out different. Okay. Now, this is interesting, too. This is Mahadra. Ma I can't. I can never pronounce it. Madras? It. Yes. Okay. It's Madras or... Um, it's a curry powder, mm -hmm. and it's not a paste. So the powders have uh, cumin and coriander mixed in with it. Okay. So you really want a curry powder. Okay. And um, this soup will be like how good it is or isn't is going to be indicative to this seasoning. Okay. So do okay. like spend a little extra money. Get the this. the better uh, curry for sure. So yes. about how much do we put in? Um. Well, again, depends on how much. Uh, or how what the strength is okay. of the curry that you have. Okay. So we're gonna start um, with about three fourths of a cup. Oh, so quite a bit. Yes. Well, it's curried butternut squash. Sure. Sure. Okay. If you wanna whisk that in. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? Some more milk? I think a little bit because it's getting a little thick. Oops, sorry. Perfect. Wow, look at that color. Mm -hmm. And then I see a little bit of black pepper and a little pinch of red pepper flakes. Um, actually, huh? yeah, we'll wait on the black pepper. Okay. But um, we finish it with red pepper flakes. Just for a little bit a, of a kick, huh? Yes, about a half teaspoon. Wow. And that just builds the flavor. Uh, so we have all of these flavors going on. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That looks and smells amazing. Really, really amazing. So should we put it to... Uh, yes. Get it in the bowl and then garnish it up. Now, um, is it something that you know you do often? Do you have this once a week, or um, we only have this seasonally? Okay, so, so okay, when the squash is in, then the squash you know, that's when in. you have it. So, but call ahead. I, I'm one of those people who I like to call and see what the soup of the day is because you, you're changing it up all the time, right? Exactly. Yeah. And oh. we um, post our soups on our Facebook page every day. Oh, okay, great so to know. You can um, go to Cheesecake Heaven. Friend them or f yeah, like them, like them, or whatever okay. the thing is now. All right. So, wow, look at the color on that, and maybe we'll garnish with a little bit of red pepper flakes or, or parsley. Uh, clean up the dish. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, really not appreciate a it. This is a great soup. Mm. Anybody should be able to make it in their home. So there you go. That right there. Yum, yum. We'll be back. Stay with us. All the recipes we did are on our website.